I work with career-minded veterans, um, typically men and women who have served and are looking now for jobs in the um, $25,000 to $65,000 a year range. Um, we are completely nonprofit. It is a free service to every veteran. And within my position, um, I do the full employment service with the veteran. Um, I start by, I do outreach uh, to employers and to um, veterans, veterans organizations, just to let as many veterans out there know that we are here. And then on the employment side, um, I try to work with area businesses in the Western Pennsylvania region and make them aware of some of the benefits of hiring veterans, as well as network with them. So whenever we do have a veteran that's looking for a job, try to give them a little bit of a leg up and obtaining employment. One of the biggest issues with veterans is they, they've been all over the world. I mean, it's, you know, most people know our military is stationed in numerous different countries across the globe. So as compared to a civilian around their same age, they just, they don't have the networking. They don't know as many people in the area. And they also have, they've had the employment experience through the military, but a lot of times being that it was in the military, it doesn't, employers just don't look like, look at it as it counts as much as, you know, somebody on the civilian side that is, has, you know, in a, in a very recognizable, you know, business, things like that. They don't count the experience as much. And then on top of that, um, there's some other issues such as the stigmatism with PTSD. Um, employers, just the general public, uh, don't always have the best grasp of what PTSD really is. And many times they think it's much worse or it may affect the um, veterans' work much more than it does if it does at all. Uh, a lot of individuals, you know, they can go into the service at I believe it's at 17 years old, they can first enter the service. So we, you know, we find that you can either have an individual that entered the service at 17 or 18 years old and you know, they just did one or two stints in the military, maybe four to eight years. And then we also have on the other side, we have the um, career military personnel that go in straight out of high school, they do their 20 or more years, and then they come back to the civilian side and all they've ever done is military service. The military, like many um, businesses out there and in industries in general, they have their own lingo. And with the military, it's exemplified you know, a lot more than you find in local businesses. So one of the problems for the veterans are transferring the skills and experience that they had successfully over to, I like to call it civilian speak compared to military. Um, that's one thing I work with a lot of veterans on their resumes. We'll do a critique or write their resume. And as a veteran myself, I know exactly what they're saying, but as I step back or one of the other civilian workers here, I'll have them look at the resume. It, it looks like a foreign language to them. So that's a, a very big um, barrier to employment. And that's one thing here with workforce development that I do is help the veteran transfer their skills that very closely or exactly resemble a civilian experience or skill, but just getting the language down right. And that, that seems to be a really big help for finding them employment. I joined the Army in 2006. I was 20 years old. I'd gone to Shippensburg University for two years and decided that I would like to join the service. Um, I went in as infantry and then went through airborne qualifications. So be, I became airborne infantry and I was based out of Vincenza, Italy with the uh, 173rd Airborne. Um, while there, I was in a scout platoon and then eventually moved over and went with a, um, a line platoon, which is more just a direct assault force. Um, while serving, I was a, a sergeant. Uh, when I left the military, I deployed to Afghanistan. Um, uh, while I was serving in Afghanistan with the 173rd Airborne, um, the Humvee I was riding in was struck with an improvised explosive device, and because of that, I was um, I received a traumatic brain injury and was wounded and rece received a Purple Heart because of my injuries, and eventually ended up back in Johnstown, Pennsylvania, in a um, in a sort of like a recovery center. And while there, I met one of the VLP representatives from our Johnstown branch. Um, did a little internship for them, got involved with the VLP. So 
as I transitioned out of the military in 2011, I went to Seton Hill University in Greensburg and this August of 2013, as I completed my degree through knowing you know, the VLP, I became aware of this position and applied and was hired for the job. I, I guess I could say I kind of took a couple years off. I didn't really associate with many you know, military organizations, but knowing the VLP, having you know, interned there a little bit, and then coming into the Pittsburgh office and getting to meet a lot of the different employees and just seeing the passion that they have to you know, serve those who have served us, um, I, I kind of got bit by the bug and you know, wanted, to, wanted to help my fellow you know, brothers and sisters in arms. So I was very happy that I was offered the position. With you know, the men and the women that have served our country that I meet with, I'm just astonished. I did not know how bright of individuals there are out there that are actually seeking careers. Um, I've dealt with veterans the whole way up to having multiple master's degrees. Um, just everybody I dealt with, if, if I was a hiring manager myself, I would probably, you know, hire them. It's the, the, the caliber of the men and the women is just outstanding and it, it makes me even more proud to have served in the military myself. Just, you know, if you are an employer looking to hire veterans, um, I would ask, you know, you please contact me. And also if you have, you know, any questions or want to know best practices or anything like that, I do, you know, a lot of research and trying to become a subject matter expert on it. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions or come in and, you know, sit down and just explain a little better some of the benefits that veterans bring to the workforce. With the Veterans Leadership Pro Program, there are numerous um, volunteer opportunities. There's on my side, on the workforce development side, I'm looking, always looking for mentors, people that are in the, um, the Pittsburgh or the Western Pennsylvania region that you know, would like to maybe take a veteran under their wing and show them how the ropes work, help them with networking, you know, just anything you know, business or industry related that they would like to do. And then also um, you know, local employers that are looking for veterans you know, I'd, I'd love to have a conversation with any of them that I haven't already and just, you know, explain what we do and maybe, you know, find out a way we can help veterans in the area. And then any uh, universities, um, training centers, service centers for veterans, um, if you have a veteran in need, I'd ask, you know, you please send them to the VLP, whether it is employment or any other issues. We are a full service organization. And we are here to serve veterans. Yes, they can um, visit neverforgetvets.com, and it has it's the um, Veterans Leadership Program's full website, and you know they can learn more there.